Now let's spend some time understanding the difference between emotional blunting and anhedonia. And I, 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 I like this question because um, I think this will come to your mind. Is this anhedonia or this is emotional blunting? Because that can help you decide if you want to increase the dose of antidepressant, reduce the dose of antidepressant, or change the medication. So very clinically relevant question here. So there are three points that can help you differentiate this. So the first is a person's ability to experience pleasure. Now be mindful that this will be affected in both anhedonia and emotional blunting. It's decreased, the ability to experience pleasure. But what differentiate them is their ability to experience negative emotion. So be mindful of that. It's the negative emotion. In anhedonia, a person have heightened perception to experience negative emotion. But in emotional blunting, even these negative emotions are blunted. The perception is blunted. So always ask this question whenever you feel uh, you have to differentiate anhedonia fr uh, from emotional blunting. But there is third point also that you can use to differentiate this and that is their response to antidepressant. So in anhedonia, uh, antidepressants are beneficial for this whereas with emotional blunting it can cause or worsen the symptom and i also want to say one thing that um, you know patients who have emotional blunting very frequently also report anhedonia but the emotions that are blunted are not limited to pleasure so very very important point